Pope John Paul II returned to his homeland in June 1979, bringing his blessings to his people and letting the world know that the vast Roman Catholic Church stood behind the aspirations of the Polish people. It was a great moment in Polish history. The Pope spread his epiphany to an emotionally overwhelmed and proud nation. When the dark night of martial law descended last December, a deeply concerned Pope sent this message back home. Cautiously worded, it said, the church has received with grief the news of the breaking off of the dialogue. He implored both sides to seek a conclusion, but the crackdown worsened. On Christmas Eve, a despairing Pope addressed an audience. The situation in his homeland seemed to be beyond even his help. Then, just last Sunday, the Pope again raised his voice, bringing the spiritual resources of the Roman Catholic Church to bear against the Polish repression. In the name of liberty, he said, we believe firmly that the right to organize an autonomous, self-governed unions must be restored to workers. And to young people, the right to organize in associations of their choice, and all in the name of the peace that is so greatly desired by the whole nation.